ओम नमो भगवचे वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवचे वासुदेवाया ओम नमो भगवचे वासुदेवाया Bhagavad Gita as it is chapter 15 Purushottam Yoga Yoga of the Supreme Person text number 13 please chant with me Gama Vishya Chabutani Darayam Yaham Ojasa Pushnami Chosari Sarva Somo Bhutvara Satmaka now responsibly Gam the planets avishya entering cha also bhutani the living entities dharayami sustain aham i ojasa by my energy pushnami am nourishing cha and aushadhi vegetables sarava all soma the moon bhutva becoming rasaatmaka supplying the juice so this verse reminds us how krishna is the maintainer brahma is the creator rudra is the destroyer but vishnu is the maintainer why do i say that look at that word pushnami i am nourishing somebody who nourishes you is maintaining you the mother nourishes the baby with the milk of her breast Without that the baby is not going to live. Veda say if the baby drinks the mother's milk for at least 6 months, healthy, strong baby. Because by God's arrangement, it's all there. The miracle food, leche, milk. All right. I'm still in Santiago. Please repeat I enter into each planet and by my energy they stay in orbit. So what material scientist is going to agree to this? He's not going to. But we take Krishna. I become the moon and thereby supply the juice of life. to all vegetables in the bhagavatam second canto it says that vegetables makes your skin very nice grains is what keeps you alive right in bhagavad gita all living entities subsist on food grains bhagavatam says and vegetables is for nice upkeep of the skin okay purport it is understood that all the planets are floating in the air only by the energy of the lord the lord enters into every atom every planet and every living being that's why it is said krishna is all pervasive and he's all pervasive by his energy that is discussed in the brahma sanhita That line is andantarasta paramanu chayantarastam. That's what Prabhupada is referring to. That's the line from the Brahma Sanghita. It is said that one plenary portion. What does the word plenary mean? Very good. Somebody has learned from the classes. That makes me very very happy. I have not wasted all these twenty years preaching. Thank you. Uh, one the plenary portion of the supreme personality of Godhead, Paramatma, enters into the planets, the universe, the living entity, 
and even into the atom. So due to his entrance, everything is appropriately manifested. When the spirit soul is there, a living man can float on the water, but when the living spark is out of the body and the body is dead, the body sinks. Of course, when it is decomposed, it floats just like straw and other things. But as soon as the man is dead, he at once sinks in the water. You've seen so many movies. The guy is fat, and then he goes down. Similarly, all these planets are floating in space. And this is due to the entrance of the supreme energy of the supreme personality of Godhead. His energy is sustaining each planet just like a handful of dust. Actually, you will find verses in Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita that Ananta Sesh is holding all the planets but they're on his head. They're so insignificant he doesn't know they're there. Just like if I come along and put some mustard seeds on your head. You're not going to feel it. Right? You all know how big a mustard seed is. Even I drop a few of them. It's like, what? You could play a joke on someone. They're never going to know that there's five mustard. So Ananta says is holding all the planets, but they're insignificant like mustard seeds. Similarly, all these planets are floating in space, and this is due to the entrance of the supreme energy of the supreme personality of Godhead. His energy is sustaining each planet just like a handful of dust. If someone holds a handful of dust, there is no possibility of the dust falling. But if one throws it in the air, it would fall down. Similarly, these planets, which are floating in the air, are actually held in the fist of the universal form of the Supreme Lord. If you want to learn more about the universal form, Canto 2. Canto 2, and I think also... In Canto 3, Maitreya also discusses. Uh, by his strength and energy, all moving and non-moving things stay in their place. It is said in the Vedic hymns that because of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the sun is shining and the planets are steadily moving. Were it not for him, all the planets would scatter like dust in air and perish. Similarly, it is due to the Supreme Personality of Godhead that the moon nourishes all vegetables. Due to the moon's influence, the vegetables become delicious. Without the moonshine, the vegetables can neither grow nor taste succulent. Human society is working, living comfortably, and enjoying food due to the supply from the Supreme Lord. Otherwise, mankind could not survive. The word rasatmaka is very significant. Everything becomes palatable by the agency of the Supreme Lord through the influence of the moon. Let's do one more. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan. Shri Govinda Gopinath, Madana Mohan. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan. Shri Govinda, Gopinath, Madana Mohan. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan. Shri 
Sri Govinda Gopinath Madana Mohan Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan Sri Govinda Gopinath Madana Mohan Jaya Radhe Jaya Krishna Jaya Vrindavan Sri Govinda Gopinatha Madana Mohan Okay, everybody chant Japa for a few seconds, please.